Hey guys, uh, Hi Rise King here. Um, Logitech sent me a G19 in the mail to show you guys. So um, apparently this is a new gaming keyboard that they came out with, and um, it comes with a LCD screen that shows your game stats and different options that you could pick. Um, even plays videos. So uh, let's go ahead and open the box. Right. So there's two seals on the back. Cut these real quick. Flip the tab open. Flip it over. And uh, there you have it. Uh, what we got in the first compartment is the uh, USB cable and. Uh, so it comes with a auxiliary power source, which is probably in this compartment. Uh, this has to be the first keyboard that I've seen that you have to connect it into a power strip on its own. It doesn't draw uh, power from the USB all by itself. So let's get the keyboard out itself. The weight is uh, pretty nice. It's it's not too not too heavy. Definitely not too light. And here's the keyboard. Keys are nice, quiet. Uh, let's see, it looks like we've got the uh, LCD screen right here. Uh, the controls for it are right here. Um, we've got various um, multi keys, uh, G1 through G12, and you could route those keys to pretty much anything. Um, you've got some media player keys over here. Uh, you've got your light indicators for your caps lock, number lock, so on. Uh, I think you got a a wheel button of some sort right here that probably controls the volume. Um, I'm sure when we hook up the software we'll see what else it can do. And then you have your light key. The keys have back lights on them. And your menu keys. And then you got your number lock. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hook this up and we will be back and I'll show you some of the software and the goodies that it could do. Okay, so I've loaded up the software that the Logitech keyboard came with, and it came with this G Series key profiler. And it looks like it's pretty straightforward. You can assign any keys to the G1 through G12s on the side of the keyboard that I had showed you. It came up with this cool little tutorial thing that it shows all the functions of the keys. Um, you got your USB 2.0s in the back. Uh, you've got your LCD screen, and these are basically the buttons that you use to control it. Um, you have your G1 through G12 on the side. And you, you can also put them in different categories like M, G1 through G12, M2, G1 through G12, M3, and so on. Uh, you have your gaming key, which uh, so when you hit your Windows key, you're not interrupted. You just slide it over when you're playing your game you hit the windows key and it no longer functions as a windows key and when you're done with your game you just slide it back and windows key will be activated again and then you got your normal illumination key right here and then you also have uh, media keys as I was showing you uh, so that's a, like a pretty much in-depth look from what I showed you earlier on the keyboard itself what it shows. Um, so let's go into the profiler. It looks like you have a macro manager and a script editor. Oops. Script editor as well. Um, you could set this to pretty much any profile, like if it reads. It only reads World of Warcraft because that's the only game that I have installed at the moment that it can read. Um, it works with various other games as well. And you can look up those games if you'd like but for now it's just bringing up my world of warcraft um it also has a game manager panel where that you can change like the lcd 
um, and how it how it acts, and we can change like the the uh, volume, um, the brightness. I'm sorry, brain fart. The brightness and the programs also change. I was kind of wondering what the LCD just did. Uh, but okay, it's reading some type of media player file. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and load up World of Warcraft, and we'll see how the LCD reacts. Okay, so I've loaded up a random character, low-level character in World of Warcraft, and it is reading World of Warcraft Catechism on the LCD screen. And it looks like it comes up with various different stats. Looks like it shows in strength, damage, agility, power, stamina, so on, bag slots, durability. Uh, let's hit the arrow keys on there. See what else it'll come up. Um, it looks like it can show some battleground information. And a uh, chat box. So that's pretty cool. So that's what it does with World of Warcraft. Um, definitely some useful information uh, right at your fingertips. So, yeah. Pretty awesome keyboard. Uh, definitely something different and new. And uh, let's see what else it can do. So like we said earlier, it's got the LCD clock, and that'll be the clock right there. It's got a uh, performance meter, um, which is pretty cool. It shows your RAM and your CPU usage. Uh, it's got a countdown timer, which I assume is a normal, yep, stopwatch. Uh, media display. So if you're playing uh, any music, you can run it from there and it'll show you uh, the information. It's got a picture viewer, which I don't have any pictures in the folder. It's also got an RSS reader, which I have not configured since I just took it out of the box. Um, but you can configure it and it will go across the screen. Uh, it's got a YouTube player to show uh, videos, YouTubes. Um, I pressed on it earlier and it wouldn't play. I think I have to configure it to use the internet. I'm not too sure. Um, we could try it again. Hopefully it doesn't fail. So yeah, I think you have to configure the software to be able to use the internet. Um, let's see if it's a configuration right here. Um, I'll have to look into that. But yeah, I mean... You can configure it to use there. Um, you get a little slideshow, and each time you press on one of these, I don't know if you can see in the screen. I'll, I'll actually make this smaller if I can. Um, but if you view it on this screen right here, like if I press the menu button to configure it. It pops up on my desktop with a bunch of different um, looks and how it's going to act. You, know, you can even go all the way as far as showing it black and white and uh, go to the classic look, the glow for at night. Uh, it could be like a sweet ping second hand instead of a ticking second hand. And uh, yeah. So this is a pretty awesome little keyboard. Uh, awesome media functions, the LCD, all the information is extremely useful. Um, like I said, I don't have any of the other games that it's compatible with installed, but I have seen screenshots with like Borderlands where it shows like your money and different uh, gun stats and stuff like that. Um, so it's definitely just not any old mediocre LCD player that you see on the other ones. This one's a full screen, full color 
LC player that gives you helpful and, and um, useful information. Um, as for the keys, they're very firm, I would say. Um, if there was a way to explain it, I would use the word firm. Um, so pressing a key when you don't want to press a key pretty much is not going to happen. Um, it came with a little guard, as you can see, that you can put right here. Um, my desk is short, so I don't really use it too much. But, uh, yeah, the keyboard is awesome. And uh, if you guys want a, you know, a different keyboard than the... Uh, I use the Razer Black Widow. But uh, this keyboard is pretty pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, I want to thank Logitech for sending this so I can show you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and give this away randomly to one of my subscribers. So if you're not subscribing to the YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. And let's say mid-next week, say Wednesday, I will gather up all the subscribe names and notify you through your YouTube channel on who won. And, uh, and then you can give me all your information there. So if you want a brand new keyboard, just out of the box to review it, I have not used it on any games and will not use it on any games to keep its quality prestige. And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thanks for watching, guys.